Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to The Crew Motorfest. It's been a hot minute since they've last played this game, but I did want to kind of touch on this game a little bit more recently here today for the main point that is it is finally being released to Steam. And I've been kind of having a hard time mulling this one over, so be prepared for a little bit of a ramble as I try to sort out kind of my opinions on this one about is it a good thing or is it a bad thing that is actually coming to Steam? So last week it was announced that it, of course, is coming to Steam. And um, my immediate reaction is fantastic. I'm very excited that we can finally play this game on Steam. And I can hopefully start migrating some of the games that I have from the Epic Games Store over to Steam. So I have less games I have to install from the Epic Games Store. And I have just I can just focus on a single game launcher. And that was kind of my end goal. Especially with the fact that the only reason why I care about that kind of stuff is because I have the Steam Deck. So I do want to play games like this on my couch upstairs while I watch TV. You know, this would be kind of a perfect game for just lounging about, enjoying yourself as you play another kind of arcadey, what do they call them? Festival racers, I think is the official terminology nowadays. And my, like I said, my immediate reaction was, okay, this is cool. I'm kind of okay with this. So you start looking at the store page that it has up on Steam. You can actually wish, wish list it as we speak. And a couple red flags popped up. Not being able to pre-order the game, I thought was a very unique decision. Most game companies nowadays want you to be able to pre-order their game because a lot of the times the games aren't like finished. So they can, unfortunately, in a way, they can kind of mislead you into purchasing the game early and then finding out after the fact, oops, the game actually doesn't work. So the fact that they didn't have a pre-order means that it is in such a state on Steam that they know that it'll cause some outcry. But the fact that the game is already working on Epic Game Stores is probably not the case. So not having the pre-order, you can kind of go both ways. It being a good thing that we're no longer having that option because you can play this game on Epic Game Store and you can kind of know how the game is going to run. Or it's a bad thing because for whatever reason they can't get it optimized for Steam, which I would find very different. The other thing that I'm kind of struggling a little bit too is I'm not surprised in any way, shape, or form, but the fact that since it is coming to Steam, a lot of people would imagine that, hey, you could be able to finally play this game on Steam Deck. Why would we be still thinking about that <laughs> when the Crew 1 hasn't worked and now officially is dead, but we'll get to that. The Crew 2 has some weird kind of like compatibility issues like some sort of anti-cheat engine and whenever you open up uh, the crew to order fest on PC through the Epic Games Store I've noticed that a new battle e i i e bat i e kind of weird program shows up I imagine that's their anti-cheat program so again I imagine that once again it's not going to work on Steam Deck which is kind of the reason why we would want it on Steam. But furthermore, I had also noticed that on the store page, they made mention very much so to uh, put emphasis on the fact that there are different battle passes. Battle passes? Season passes. So it's like the Deluxe Edition, and then you've got the Gold Edition, and then you've got the Ultimate Edition. So even if the base game is retail $60, $70, or something like that, they're going to find more ways of being able to get some money out of you. Which is kind of the norm, but this is starting to become the new issue that I'm seeing. Is that 
even though that we're more accepting of other companies doing it, the problem is now that it's Ubisoft, which Ubisoft is doing what everybody else is doing. But I think I wanted to take this moment to discuss the fact that we will be buying a 60 to $70 game plus whatever microtransactions plus whatever ultimate editions or whatever on top of it and the game will not be playable in 10 years guarantee it because the precedent has been the crew one as of april 1st is gone their servers are done you can't even open the game anymore because it's always online thankfully there are some individuals out there that are now seeing this being a very terrible precedent that this isn't a free to play game. You are paying money to play this game. So you should still be able to have like an offline version of this game once they take down the servers and Ubisoft said, mm, not interested. So there's some people that are actively looking into suing Ubisoft so that this doesn't become the new precedent where if game companies don't feel like supporting their servers anymore they'll take the servers offline and then they won't release an offline patch and that's just it the game's dead the game's gone so like i said i'm very excited to see that there's some people that are actually doing something about that so i think that's ultimately the thing that i'm having an issue with right now is i'm so conflicted because this game, weirdly enough, I actually enjoy it quite a bit. Because it takes some of those things that we've enjoyed from the Forza Horizon series, and it adds a new spin on it. I'm still trying to wrap my head around like the events where you're able to switch out between like an airplane and a boat, and that's not really my style. But like the actual road racing is really good the handling is different and to be honest i think this game when i first played it when it was released i don't remember having a quite favorable ex oops <laughs> i don't remember the the wheel having like an, an amazing experience i remember it kind of being buggy and, and not great it's definitely seemed like that through these past six months, Ivory Tower has actually gone well above and add some patches that make it really nice to play. The problem is, is that I'm using a lack of traction control right now, so that's, that, that's entirely on me. There are still some bugs here, I'll, I'll admit that for whatever reason whenever you start up the game the throttle and the brake input mapping like just doesn't work so you go into the settings and you try to like input map them to be correct and then they're like inverted weirdly enough and then you got to go back and change them again and then finally it might think about working so there is a little bit a little bit of play there in order to get it to work but, like I was saying, all in all, the game want, runs pretty well, apart from what I think is the shader compilation stutter every now and again, where it's just this massive frame drop and then it comes back. But there's a lot of content here, and the game looks great, and it's just... I'll be the first to admit, if you already own this on the Epic Game Store, there honestly really is not a reason to get this on Steam from the standpoint that it almost for sure does not have Steam Deck compatibility and even if it does I've been able to get it work get it to run under a Windows partition again and uh, <laughs> this game is pretty demanding so unless they added a bunch of new optimization for just the Steam Deck, and they're able to get rid of the anti-cheat engine, which is definitely not happening, then, you know, I'll take all these words back, and I'll buy it on Steam, and I'll play it there. But, it's just... 
I want to be able to support Ivory Tower because they've made some very good games in the past. But I don't want to support Ubisoft. I want to support a really good racing franchise. But I don't want to support a company that is going to take it offline in 10 years. And not even say thank you for the money. They'll just pull the plug on the server and say, have fun, buy our newer game. So I think ultimately that's kind of what I'm conflicted about is that if there are so many I don't want to diminish the positives that this game has because in all honesty it is so refreshing to have another festival racer that isn't Forza Horizon but it has like a really nice environment and the graphics are great the handling is unique and different the event types there's so many different event types than what we normally get off of you know, Forza Horizon, including like the aerial events and the and the waterworks, and it's just this game is so awesome. It honestly is. I do genuinely like it. I do want to put more time into it, but being kind of the racing simcade nerd that I am, a fully dedicated arcade game is something I definitely do need to put some time aside to play because again it's fantastic but in all honesty i'm having an issue with some of the directions that you know the AAA industry is going recently like for example i was able to get you know diablo 4 running when it was off of battle.net and then six months later or less than it's released on steam and it's like well why did i do that and i knew this was coming i knew that <laughs> that this game was going to come to Steam eventually. I didn't realize that it was just going to come this quickly. I thought it was going to be released in another two years or so. So that all being said, let me know what your guys' opinion is in the comment section down below. If you guys are actually excited that it's coming to Steam because you just hadn't picked it up before through Epic Game Store, or are you still going to wait until it's on sale on Steam? Or maybe you're just kind of agreeing with me where it's like, you know, given the circumstance of what we're just dealing with with the crew one where the game is now officially dead and we have no way to get a refund we have no way to you know carry over our progress into an offline mode it's just gone you know maybe i'll save my money for next time so again let me know all in the uh, comment section down below of course thanks so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one take care Bye.